Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, an audio guy by trade. And I've been doing audio for a lot and I don't like having lots of background noise. So when I got my um, NVIDIA 240 card that takes advantage of the Mercury Engine's playback engine, and it works great, um, I was really disappointed on the fan noise. Lots of fan noise. And usually when these manufacturers make these cards that are like less than $100, which this one is, I think it was around 90 bucks, I don't think they put too much into the fan. And what I did is I uh, called NVIDIA, I called MSI, who made the card, and I said, can I control the fan noise? Because I tried in the software and I could not make it go do anything in the afterburner software. And they said, no, you cannot control it software-wise. So I did a lot, you know, I've done a lot of posts and stuff, and on one of the uh, gentlemen, David, I think his last name is Nar, over at Studio One Productions, who actually turned me on to this card, which is... A, you should definitely go to his site. It's got a great write-up of CUDA cores and really technical stuff that I don't quite understand. But he said, why don't you just try one of these fan controllers, an external fan controller that sits on the back of your computer and you have basically a potentiometer that you can turn up and turn down and adjust the fan speed. It's like, all right. So I went, searched around for one, and on Deal Extreme, I found one for like less than three bucks, which I totally don't understand because this thing came all the way from China. I mean, it's all written on here. Uh, I don't see how something that they can make something and have it come all the way from China for two bucks. I don't even know how you could do this shipping for that less. So unfortunately, the connectors that came with the um, this controller didn't work for me. So I had to kind of backward engineer it, find out where the, you know, where I needed to basically turn the potentiometer. Yeah, basically when you turn it all the way up, when it's on high, it basically creates a short. But when you turn it to low position, it adds in 100 ohms of resistance. So basically, you don't even need to buy a controller. You could just go out and buy a, you know, a few pennies would cost you to buy a 100 ohm uh, resistor and just run it in series with the high lead going to the fan from the power supply on the card, and that should work. So basically I had to solder it up. Before I did that, I had to test to find out where the temperature would be when it was running at full, because the fan was just running as high as it could. And so I tried YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, a high def, full screen and everything, and I was watching the temperature rise on the GPU. And it would, you know, like hit like 50 um, degrees centigrade, 55 degrees centigrade. And it wasn't really working it super hard. And then I went into Premiere and I was like, well, this should work it really hard. And, uh, and it did, it brought the temperature up to about 63 degrees. Now here's something really interesting was when you had uh, like a yellow line um, where you didn't have to render it on, in Premiere and the temperature went up to 63 degrees and it was using 40% of the GPU. Now what was really interesting is when I added a bunch of um, effects on there, I already had effects, but I added more effects on there that were not uh, GPU um, uh, capable, meaning it turned the line red. When I ran that test again, the temperature kind of decreased slightly and the GPU usage went down to 8%. It was like, that kind of totally didn't make sense. It was like the GPU just gave up and said, hey, CPU, you take care of everything. And so that was kind of interesting. So after I installed it, I, I'd ran the, I turned it all the way down to low and the fan noise pretty much went away. Um, it matched all the other fans inside the, the case. And I don't know if you can hear this, but let me, I'll cut to it right now. And you can hear me turn it up and down. So basically now I had this installed and I ran that same test with the yellow line for 30 minutes. I just let it run, loop over this one video on playback. And the temperature went up slightly. It went to 66 degrees centigrade. But, you know, my fan, now my computer is really, really quiet. Uh, so for two bucks, it was a really good investment. So just thought I'd share that. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.